Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Yeah, Beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer sent to me by Matt. Uh, come in a beer mail package the other day. This is Whispering Embers. And this is done by Valkyrie Brewery. And they're out of Dallas, Wisconsin. Big V on the upper label here. Uh... Doesn't have a whole lot written on the label. It looks, it's got a picture of, a, looks like a, a fire with some embers and stuff on it. And it is a smoked Oktoberfest brewed with beechwood smoked malts. So, uh, and most of your, well, your Oktoberfest are lager beers. And that's why I have the, the lager glass here, guys. That's what I'm going to pour it in today. And this is considered a Roush beer, according to Beer Advocate. And availability, it says, in the fall. So, uh, if you see this beer, you ought to pick it up because it's getting close to winter time here. We're into December, so uh, uh, it's probably been on the shelves now for several months. And it's uh, probably getting to the end of its shelf life. The uh, food pairings for this beer... Cuisine is barbecue in German, and the cheeses are peppery, Monterey, pepper jack, shark, blue, and cheddar. And the meat is beef, smoked meat, game, grilled meat, and salmon for this beer. And the glassware says the mug, side ale, the stains, which is a slender cylinder type glass. And I've got the, uh, my typical uh, Pilsner slash lager glass here for this one, guys. The commercial description for this one says Whispering Embers is an Oktoberfest beer made with beechwood smoked malts. Mild aroma is sweet with a bit of smoke and fruit. Flavor is nice, sweet, and smoky with some dark fruit notes. Finish is dry and smoky. Named, named from a beautiful phrase from the book Moon Over Madeline Island by J. Gilbertson. Pick it up at your local bookstore or library and see if you can find the phrase. Well, I think I'll pass on that. Uh, that is the only thing listed here for that, for the commercial description. The, uh, the beer is a 5 percenter, so it's not uh, meant to be cellared. So, without further ado, thanks Matt for sending this one. I cannot get their beers here. Like it's a twisty. No, it's not. A bit of smoke coming out of the glass, out of the bottle there. That semi-aggressive pour. We got us a nice head there. Uh, not quite two fingers. Looks very good in the glass. Over into the light. Looks a lot like an ale. It's got that orange tangerine color. About like an IPA would look like. Very carbonated. A lot of bubbles streaming up from the bottom of the glass. Got a nice hiss off of it when we opened up the top there. By the way, ordered some more openers and more t-shirts. I was out of certain sizes. So uh, as soon as I get those in, guys, I'll do a video of, uh, of those to let you know. i uh, replenished the stock. So... Let's get a nose on this and see what we got. I am getting a little bit of the smoke. Not a big smoke flavor. A lot of fruitiness though. I mean. I'm getting grapefruit and oranges. Very sweet smell. To go along with the smoke. It's not a heavy Roush beer in my opinion. 
To me, this is like a, a mix between a rash beer and an Oktoberfest. Smells very fruity. Oh well. Uh, as you can see, the head has dissipated. I uh, got less than a half a finger of head on there now. So let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Matt. Got a little bit of a plastic taste to it. There are some fruit notes there. Grapefruit, oranges. I'm getting the smokiness from the beechwood smoke malt. Doesn't taste very balanced to me though. A little on the thin side, of course, a lot of the uh, lagers are. Strange combination between the two. I'm going to hit it one more time. Smokiness and fruitiness is what I'm getting. Right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. I set it warm up just a little bit. I don't like my lockers to get real warm, so we won't be savoring it too long. So uh, stick around. I'll come back and do the final chug on this and let the other half sip it. Stick around. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little bit left. Not a big fan of this one, guys. I'll tell you straight up. Not very balanced. Uh, a little on the thin side. It does have a little bit of the smokiness from the beechwood smoke malt. The other half liked it more than I did, so I gave her most of it. Let's do the final chug on this one. To me, it has a plastic band-aid taste to me. I'm not a big fan of it. Glad I only got one in the beer mail. <laughs> Matt, thanks for sending it. Glad I got to try it. Don't think I would purchase this one again myself. So. Uh, had, had, had an off plasticky taste to me. Alright, I looked at the bottle. It doesn't have any kind of dating on the label or, uh, or on the bottle that I can see. So, uh, not a good thing on a 5% beer. I do know it's produced in the fall, but I don't know when in the fall. I mean, it, it could have been August and it could have been November. I, I really don't know. And they need to put that on those low ABV beers just like the IPAs, guys. Uh, I'm going to give it a 4. It's a C. It's nothing spectacular. It's not above average. It's a very average beer as far as I'm concerned. But this is just my opinion. I'm not a big fan of the lagers anymore anyway. But uh, glad I got to try it. Uh, I just don't think it's a very well made beer. It's uh, it's not at all. Uh, nothing derogatory toward the brewers there or anything like that. It just it just didn't do it for me guys. It's uh, it's got a, an unbalanced plasticky taste to me. So let's go see what everybody else has got to say. Over to Beer Advocate. It hasn't got enough ratings to have anything. They've got NA slash A. So they need some more reviews uh, to give a, a rating on that one. And over to Rate Beer. Ooh, Rate Beer is not trying at all. Rate Beer says 27 overall and 6 in the style. I'm not quite that bad on it, but. It's not something that was pleasant enough for me to want to purchase again or, or seek out again. So, glad I got to try it and we'll go on to the next one, guys. So, if you've had this one, give me some comments back on this one. Whether you liked it or didn't like it, I didn't care much for it, guys. So, that being said, hit the like button, rate, comment, subscribe, and hopefully find a better one tomorrow. Maybe we'll get another one from, uh, from Matt's Beer Mail package to see if it's any better. Come on back tomorrow. See you then.